all right guys welcome back and just to recap what we did in the last video was install pygame and in this video we are going to be creating our first python game window using pygame so obviously the first thing we need to do is import pygame into our uh, program and hopefully you have already created this main.py file if you haven't just create it right now and first of all we are going to import pygame and then we need to initialize pygame to access all of the cool methods and all of the other stuff that is inside this pygame module so to initialize this pygame module what we need to do is just type in pygame.init so whenever from now on you create a game or create a new game just make sure you add this line otherwise your python or pygame code is not going to work so let me just add a little bit of comment over here saying uh, initialize the pygame all right so after initialization we have to create our screen and pygame makes it really really easy it's just one line of code it's crazy so we're just going to write screen and this is our variable and we can just write pygame and this is to access the methods that are inside this pygame module and we need to access the display dot set mode method and then inside these brackets we need to add another bracket so this is a tuple make sure you add another bracket inside it otherwise it's not going to work and a lot of people mess up over here and then ask why is it not working it's because we haven't added another bracket over here and then inside it is gonna take in two values the height and the width of the window that you want to create so i'm just gonna give it for now a value of 800 pixels of height and 600 pixels of width so this should be good and let me just add a comment create the screen and let me just format this properly so this is all you need to create a screen but as you will see after we run this program that it has one main bad thing about it so as you can see the game window was created but after a few seconds it just went away let me show it to you guys again so after we click on play it stays there for like one or two seconds then it goes away and this is because our python program goes through these three lines and then just exits the program and therefore you can't see that screen for a long time because it just takes one or two seconds for this program to run and that's it so one way to bypass that is just create an infinite loop over here and this also has problems but just to show you guys that it works i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna make sure that my task manager is open because this will hang my computer so make sure that your task manager is also open because this will hang the window at least that you're working on but just to show you guys i'm gonna run this and you'll be able to see that the window is there but it is totally hanged so you can see the window is there but it's nothing is working over here and this cross button is not working so let me just go back over here and close my python window click on end task and it has been closed now why is it hanging why is it not just closing down by pressing this cross button it is because we don't have an event of a quit function over here so there's no way to quit the program our program is just inside this while loop and it's never able to end and windows makes sure that that program gets hanged so that's why we need to add a quit functionality to our pygame game window just like this window has on pressing this close button this window closes so for that we are going to be using something known as events now we'll get into events more a little bit later but for right now just understand that event is anything that is happening inside your game window by game window i just mean a window inside which your game is being played so anything happening inside that game window is basically an event so for example if you press arrow keys or anything on your keyboard you move your mouse that is an event and even when you press this close button that is also an event in pygame so this pressing of the close button is actually known as a quit event in pygame so we are going to make sure that we exit this loop when this close button is pressed so for that what we are going to do is we are just going to create a variable let's call it running and we are going to give it a value of true and inside this while loop we are instead of just typing in while true to make it an infinite loop we are just going to call it while running and whenever we want to break outside of this infinite loop we are just going to turn the variable of running into false and it will automatically break this while loop so if you don't know the basics of python or programming basically while true runs infinitely and when this value of true is turned to false it comes out of the while loop but we are not going to go into much into that because that's just like very basic programming so anyways after writing while running what we need to do is go through the list of events that are happening inside our game window so for that we are just going to create a for loop and create a variable event 
and then we are going to loop through all of the events that are happening inside our game window. How do you do that? Pygame makes it really easy. Just type in pygame.event.get and then brackets and this makes sure that all of the events that are there that are happening get into this pygame.event.get and then we can loop all of these events using the for loop and one by one check if this cross button has been pressed and whenever this cross button is being pressed we'll just turn this while loop into false so this is pretty easy so inside this for event we are going to check if the close button has been pressed and how do you do that just type in if event dot type equal equals to and then we are going to check whether the event in pygame is quit or not if it's quit then we are going to change the value of running into false so this is pretty easy so we have changed the value of true into false whenever the close button is being pressed and this close button is basically a quit event and we are going to loop through all of the events to find this quit event so we are going to go into more into events a little bit later but for right now just understand this is what we are doing so let's just play this and understand whether it's working or not let's see so right now you can see that video system is not initialized it's giving us an error it says pygame.event.get all right so the problem is that we have misspelled this it's not pygame.small letters quit it's just pygame.quit and that's pretty much it so when you are dealing with a lot of syntax, you have to make sure that you write the correct one, but small problem, we are just going to click on play. And now you can see that this is working and our window is not going anywhere. The computer is not hanging. It's looking pretty good. All right, guys, let me just go through this once more, what we are doing over here. So we have created our screen. We have initialized our pie game. And then over here, we have created a game loop. So let's actually call it the game loop over here. We are just going to add a comment which says game loop. So this is an infinite loop which makes sure that the game is running always and the window doesn't close down. And whenever we want to do something like move a bullet or move a player or something like that, move a human being inside a game window, we have to make sure that we do stuff inside this while infinite loop which only exits when this close button is pressed and we have implemented that close functionality over here. By pressing, by getting the events, all of the events using this pygame.event.get method and then we are looping through all of the events. So if more events are added, for example, if somebody presses an arrow key to move forward, that is also going to be looped in this pygame.event.get loop. And then we can add an, another condition that if arrow key is pressed, move that player, but more of that in the future. For right now, just understand. We looked at if event.type equals to pygame.quit and then we change the running into false to make sure that we come out of this while loop. And I know guys, I'm repeating a lot of stuff right now, but this is like the basics of uh, game development. So I want to make sure that you guys understand it properly. Uh, anyways, guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to change the title and add some stuff into our game window. So I really look forward to that. So right now it's just black and it's just saying pygame window, it's not cool. So we are going to look into that in the next video. I'll see you over there.